okay. It was Jigglypuff being Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff yeah. doing Jigglypuff things, yeah, that's yeah. fair. And then, uh, you know, Tipper's lost against, uh, you know, his first match. Mm -hmm. So I had to fight Tipper's next, and I lost. Yeah, I'd be like I love 2 1. That's a <laughs> well, going to this game, this is, uh, everyone buckle up. I feel like this is going to be a slow game, brother. <laughs> For real. <laughs> this is going to be a very slow match. Well, actually, right now, it's pretty fast. Yeah, right now, like, they're they're brawling already, which is insane to me. We're actually getting to see Aether go back to his tried and true, which is Mega Man. He used to be a Mega Man main, and he's been, like, dancing around with other characters for a while okay but i'm glad to see that he brought out the mega man in this game because mega man does so well in this matchup yeah that those lemons jesus they 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 put in the work they they hold they hold the port down <laughs> yeah what do they do uh kill the grenade basically so what they do is they stop grenade from pushing out even further as well as it stops grenade pulls and it obviously stops your movement forward yeah um so it just does it just takes up so ooh. Ooh, nice speed. it takes up so much space but it doesn't even matter if you just get up tilted like that yeah and that's kind of the problem with like uh, playing against zoners like i do all of these two characters just simply because you would never realize where you got all that percent until it's way too late yeah exactly like i didn't even notice that uh aether got all the way up to like a hundred percent and I don't know where it came from. It just happened. <laughs> Nickel and dime. Exactly. <laughs> Messing with the shield. Ooh! <laughs> with nice the Shoryuken! <laughs> yeah, both these characters with really good up tilts to close out stocks. Those are just really good reads. I think Aether does a really good job of um, getting reads like when he absolutely needs to. Um, oh, yeah. I think a big part of that is experience. I just... Hmm, I'm trying to see. I want to see him like mix up a bit. I do like these down airs. Uh, going on to you know, like landing above because he knows that snake can't really do much up like when he's that high up and down there being a projectile uh, aerial makes it so that it's just safe unless he hard could try to contest it yeah yeah I can see but grenade and that uh, c4 just holding so much space forcing aether to just take so much damage and box him because like yes. but a lot of i was gonna say a lot of stage presence with just, just the sheer amount of grenades uh, as well as, of course, you gotta watch out for that C4. So, like, Aether doesn't have a lot of room to work with. Yeah, right now, this, he's fine to hang out under that platform. Wait, where's the C4? Or oh, he has not placed it yet. I lost track of the C4, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, oh, it's there. <laughs> I, I found it last minute. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I would've got hit by that. Yeah. Yeah, but C4, I think, C4 placement's gonna be very important in this match. Specifically, I really like when snakes put their C4 on platforms and just wait really long. Oh. Ooh! The hey, yo! Tornado. <laughs> <laughs> the the Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. I don't like this position that the snake is in right now, just because he's cornered by his own C4. Oh, yeah. Did did box himself out, which is really good. I I don't. I feel like Aether's kind of boxing too much right now. I want him to back up. I want him to play for uh, clusters and. Um, and his buzz song. Yeah, yeah. I don't want him to get in my clothes. The the saw and the lemon kind of kind of neutralize everything that kind of kind of Mm-hmm. Like if if he's going Ooh, that was really good. But I feel like if he's going to um, box that much, I would love to see him um, just uh, start calling out the jump up grenades because every single time that I've seen a grenade pull, almost every single time rather, uh, the snake jumps up so he doesn't get hit by lemon or buzz saw. So I want him to pick up on that and call out, call it out with like a fair or a back air. I feel like that would be amazing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but we're just seeing a lot of item play right now. Good fair. I think this is where he gets the stock. Oh no, the air dodge and he broke the cypher. That was so good. That was scary, but that was so good. Because <laughs> if, he, if he got hit by the, the strong hit, he's dead. Yeah. It was like, um, really clutch too because, you know, Aether was <laughs> on death's door. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was very close. But that was a very close game. I honestly, I just thought Snake was going to take that game. He, 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 he commanded that entire game for the majority of that, especially that last stock. That last stock, he, he commanded that last stock. But Aether... 
through through the skin of his teeth or just the grit that he has just made it through somehow. Yeah, just like uh, burrowing his way underneath the fence that uh, Joe put up. Yeah, what, what is this song? Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind, it's, it's a bop. I can't take it back. <laughs> oh God, he has the, oh no, dude, the Among Us. No. Oh, he's going Violet? There, there's a Snake Among Us game? Yeah, it just says Among Us on it. Wow. I don't know if you saw that. It's supposed to be the, the Goku Jump Jacket, but instead it just says Among Us. Wow. That's so, weird. what do you think of this character switch? I think it's fair. Shh, like, that was an amazing. That was a... Wait. I was about to say something else. Yeah. Oh, you continue? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, um, I mean, I think the way that he was trying to play Mega Man, you know, was very boxy, is gonna, uh, you know, obviously lend itself to, uh, the sword, uh, better than Mega Man. Uh, so, I feel like it's just more of a, like, kind of play style thing at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think so too. This character does just a lot better in the playstyle that Aether is trying to play. Um, so you have like two options, right? Like change your playstyle, like change your character. Okay. Yeah, I I don't know how well Violet. I feel like Violet does decently well in this matchup, as long as he can play that mid range where uh, Snake feels uncomfortable to play in. Yeah. But it's just a matter of if he can, can he get, get in there. I mean. Violet isn't like that fast. <laughs> oh, by no means. But he does have a big ass sword. Yeah. Rather, not a sword, a spear. Yeah. Look at that he bad also boy. has a bow, which comes from the so, I think the bow would work well off stage, but I think on stage it's not going to have that much use at all. Because if you try to pull out that bow, bow then you, Snake gets to pull two grenades for free and then shield it. So, like, that what's, is true. What is the point, you know? Good call out on that uh, Nikita. That Nikita is very risky. Ooh, training of the grenade. I like that. Good fair. He needs to chase her. I think this is where Violet really makes this his match right here. Ooh, that was wow. close. But I think um, Violet's advantage over Snake is so so hard to like get across. Neutralizing the Nikita. I really love to see that. Yeah. A lot of just. A lot of projectiles just being thrown out. I like the, the use of the Nikita to cover that mid and close range, forcing them to. Oh, yo! That was wow. crazy! <laughs> what? Oh, oh, that shield is peanut, dude. That shield is Eminem! You could probably get, like, any free attack. I like the down air attempt. A little yeah. too. That, it's just being too slow of a move to actually do anything. But yeah. I do like it, and this should be stopped. Oh, yeah. Pretty, pretty good edge guard. Yeah, I mean, we are, we are seeing now why he switched to this character. That edge guarding is going to be so clutch if he can get him off stage. And it seems like it's being, it's getting really hard because he's getting too close to the snake and the snake is just trading grenade blow every single time. The snake yeah. loves trading. Definitely, especially yeah. with how heavy he is. Yeah, he's an inside trader, so like it definitely makes sense. Making a lot of money off of just false stock, you know? <laughs> inside trading. So what, what do Snake and Martha Stewart have in common? <laughs> Inside trading. <laughs> oh, that that was actually pretty. I didn't think it was gonna kill. I I don't know if that was good di or it was just like not anticipating it. Yeah, that was weird. I didn't expect. That. Yeah, but Gidra just holding the fort down. Honestly. Yeah. Like making this, making this a mission for Violet here. Like you said, he's just like. Okay, I'm just gonna trade with you. Well, especially now, like, at, oh, really good coverage. Ooh. But especially now, like, he doesn't. Oh, good, Nikita. Especially now, like, he doesn't have a reason not to trade anymore. Exactly. Just he because he's winning. He's yeah. winning by a stock. He oh my god! <laughs> wow. I'm speechless. Like, <laughs> that hurt! That, really good. that yeah. hurt. Did he put C4 on him? Yeah, C4's on the Byleth. Oh. oh, the trade! I didn't even notice it <laughs> traded! Well, we I, literally I, saw it for a second. Didn't know either, yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> saw it for literally a second, and the rolling happened. This is 100% doable. He yeah. just needs to get back onto the stage and reset to a neutral position. But with how Ghidra's been playing, that's, that's that's quite a mountain already. Yeah, easier said than done. Good air dodge in, but the grenade there to cover again. These grenades are putting in so much work. Yeah, the placements of the grenades are going so hard. I didn't know that grenade would hit down ledge like that. It's friendly. <laughs> Oh yeah. 
side B, yeah, that was a Hail Mary there. Yeah. Like, I get it, maybe expecting the run off the side to get the side B sweet spot, but like, you're, you're down so much. You have to play a little bit more safer. Show, show a little bit more respect to the person who was like, who had a demanding lead the entire time, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, what do you think? What kind of adaptations do you think um, if they need to do here in order to bring back this uh, 2 0 deficit? Uh, well, if he sticks with Violet, um, I would say he just needs to, like, I mean, kind of control where Snake is gonna be. Uh, because obviously, when he gets in too close. Oh, Mega Man. Okay. I was gonna say, when he gets in too close, uh, he gets grenaded. When he's too far, he gets grenaded, so he's gotta, like, control. Mm -hmm. I think, Ding, I think, he, I think in this game, this match specifically, he should focus on nullifying grenades, like stopping the grenade pulls, because yeah. that's where he's taking so much damage right now. Yeah, that's what I was kind of meaning, like, put him in a position where if he grabs a grenade, then he's going to get hit. Make him think about it. Yeah, yeah. make him think about it, because right now he's he's pulling grenades for free. Yeah. He needs to do more. Oh, Chase, oh, I wow. like that. That was <laughs> a very interesting option of just air, um, double jumping into nothing. I, I thought he, he might have been going for a read, but... It just wasn't there. Oh, was you mean early. what Aether did? Yeah, what Aether no, did. No, Aether used the tornado up there. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, then I didn't see it. Off. That's my bad. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, my fault. <laughs> it's a really hard to see because it's a projectile, right? Yeah, I just didn't notice it. Yeah. Um, but we're going to see a lot of crawling now just because it nullifies a lot of things. But when he crawls, he can just run up and just jab, lemon it, lemon it out, nullify the, the, the crawl. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're seeing a complete cha uh, pace change pace, a pace pace change, yeah. because he's not pulling the grenades. Anymore. Yeah. Uh, I think like you said, uh, Aether is kind of like he's kind of not letting him pull him out for free. Oh, that up tilt is so strong. That up tilt is so strong. Good up smash, but the grenade was there to cover him. <laughs> they just walk on him in the center stage. He's like, this is mine, brother. <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah. It's, it's just like a soccer mom, like a, I, like, in, like a food for this. Like, oh my god, is, there's a sail in aisle two? Hold on. Just power walk through. I was thinking a, a JoJo walk. <laughs> <laughs> just a power walk, for sure. I like the chase. Going high. I wish he went off stage and baited the air dodge. And maybe done like a, like a down air from there, because that would have been amazing. Yeah. But it, it, that's kind of like one of those things that you could, I can say, like in hindsight, but it's very hard to ap uh, find application in the game just because of how like quick the game moves. Yeah. And if you like make the wrong call, it can hit be really bad. Yeah. Oh, see, the air dodge, all right. Almost got something off of it, but the grenade was in the way. Ooh. I, that's something that I really like um, that I think a lot of people should start doing a lot more. People normally like roll away from the grenade, and that's normally an indicator where the, the snake is going to cover themselves. Uh -huh. So I would love people to honestly sometimes just take the grenade. Because yeah. like normally if they put grenade right before they grabbed you, the grenade's not going to explode. Yeah. You I have mean, a couple of seconds to react. Yeah. And like what's the worst that's going to happen? You get hit by the grenade? You think? Yeah. yeah, it's not that common that I see. Oh, that, that's unfortunate. That, yeah, yeah that, was, that was just unfortunate. Um, but... Um, it's not that common that I see a grenade cover their, or rather, a snake cover their grenade, you know? Because yeah. they're, they're always being like, I can cover multiple options like this. Yeah. Same way, like, the C, like they put down a C4 before they grab you. So you could either, like, guess. Good down there. Or you could just take, um, I mean, I guess you have to guess that way, but, you know, taking the grenade isn't, like, nearly as bad as taking an up there. So, uh, I would like to see Aether up air a little bit more too, especially with how high he's going sometimes. Just threatening the up air and then just honestly throwing out another one after. It'll probably do really well, but that back air finally finds it. Yeah. That back air is so good. Yeah, that back air is so good. It looks sick too. Yeah. It also combos into um, up tilt too at, uh, at kill percent. So oh, wow. I didn't know that it canceled. Uh, yeah, the first hit cancels and, and you can land with it to up tilt. Okay. Kind of go crazy. Mega Man kind of go crazy. We just, I think people just consider him a boring character, so we don't really get to see that much Mega Man. But Mega Man can be cool. Yeah. He can also be really lame, but he can be really cool. Yeah. That's that's the kind of like the story with a lot of zoners. I think the coolest zoner in this game is Snake. Oh. Okay. I mean, <laughs> he's kind of hard not to make Snake. 
Oh, what a read! That was insane. And then, uh, this is top 8, so best of 5? Yeah, it is best of 5. You gotta leave from the game coming up. Wait, Aether took a... What? Am, am yeah. I... Am I forgetting that he took a game? Oh yeah, he took game one. Yeah. He took game one. I'm such an yeah, idiot. Yeah, with Mega Man. Yeah. yeah, I've just been too into it that I kind of forgot. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, he did, he did take the first game with Mega Man. I mean, he luck, luckily he has this uh, last line here. Because I think he definitely was cooking. He's just missing that, that, that final like bit of salt, you know? Yeah. And I this think it's a, a one, two. You know, he just favors. Uh, kinda. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But... What do you think of this stage pick? Because I don't know how I feel about this. I mean... Game. Thank your Mega Man. I mean, I think that's a good stage pick. Why so? Okay, so, um... I mean, against Snake specifically. Because Snake, uh, you know, gets Edgeguard hard, right? Okay. Especially, you know, Mega Man has a lot of options. He can, uh... If you jump over, like, his back air, you can get the... Uh, so the stage has a long, like, distance between the edge and the black screen. So lots of edge guarding. Okay. I think... And then, yeah, you can survive more from, like... Uh, uh, snake kills? Yeah. yeah. I just don't know how I feel because I, f I feel the game is going to be played off stage a lot. And when it is on stage, Snake just has a better boxing game. I think the goal here was to force Snake to be at a mid range constantly, but I am not seeing the merit to this right now because he hasn't been able to get on stage for quite a while. Yeah, I know. whatever the game plan was, doesn't like, seem to be working. Not yet, at least. But that up tilt, no rage, so it's not going to kill. And Snake being one heavy boy. Yeah. I, I mean, I know uh, they got rid of some of Snake's. But it's still pretty heavy. Yeah, I would love to see... Ooh! Okay, I think that was a miss input, honestly. Yeah. But, um... Go ahead. Was, uh, the, yeah, the pick was a joke about his... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> uh, very... I... I think that's something we're not seeing a whole lot of. That leaf shield just to negate boxing period in this matchup it would do so well. Especially right there where Snake having to come up. If he just shields with the leaf shield on, I think it would be so well. But he had the read just, just a little too far away. That roll going really just going the distance. Yeah, the, the leaf shield is definitely pretty important. Yeah, I'm, I think we're definitely going to see a lot more of it. He tried to pull out the leaf shield right there, but he got down tilted out of it. Oh, good forward smash. Yeah. Chase, chase, chase! No. Oh, oh. He up tilted! Why would you up tilt? No! I thought that was gonna be like a forward air or forward tilt or something. Just hit him with something. <laughs> oh man. And of course, flipping the up tilt, getting hit by Snake's up tilt hurt. Yeah. But I think it was worth it. What do you think? No, I don't think it was worth it at all because like he didn't get any damage. It no, wouldn't. I mean, it wouldn't have killed. No, because he was at 70%. Up tilt wouldn't have killed. Oh, that's true. That's a kill, though. That's a really good snipe. That's exactly what we wanted to see. I wasn't paying attention for Finn. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, it wouldn't have killed. There was no reason to go for an up tilt. Maybe he wanted up smash, but he oh, misinputted. Yeah. Which yeah, I think that's fairly reasonable. Yeah, up smash, smash would have covered a lot. Yeah, it has such a lean hitbox. And it shields pokes, too, because of how, how many box, uh, hitboxes he has. I'm seeing a four-year air coming out soon. That's just my guess. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. He needs to win the stock here. If he doesn't win the stock here, it's going to be very difficult. Well, this is the last one. Well, yeah. What I mean is like in this specific position. Because he's in advantage right oh. now. He yeah, need he needs to there right you now. go. And there he does. So... When I say he needs to win the stock here, I'm normally referring to the so position, like the yeah, the position that he's playing in, because yeah. it's a lot like chess, where there's uh, when like you're in in the way that I see it in stocks, you're in um, you're in early early game, which is like you setting up your like your pieces right. and you're setting up your opening. Right. So you're in your opening, you're in your mid game, and you're in your late game, and or end game rather. And, I, and oftentimes you can see where someone needs to win 
in either of these three, like the Linda stock in either of these three um, settings, yeah. in order to like progress forward, in, or rather to just take the stock and be in the lead or win the or win the match. Yeah, exactly. Because mm -hmm. like sometimes you could just win an opening just straight up, but and it, but it's hard to recognize that. Yeah. But we got a banger of a song. We got Rude Buster going on right now. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the song's pretty good. I love this song. Yeah, so I, far, lots of pretty cools doing really well for Ether. Yeah, I I really just want to see Ether just mm, get out of that boxing range or use Leaf Shield and run into boxing range. Because again, Snake has an amazing boxing game, but he. Uh, and Mega Man can't compete nearly as well. Mega Man can box, but it's not what he's supposed to do. Right. Oh, good jab to stop the, the jump up. Yeah. Okay. Where are the lemons? Let me see some lemons, bro. Yeah. Just like, toss three out. Uh, I think holding shield there would have been amazing. Good Oh, that oh, sucks. He he did the right thing of hitting. No, no, that's just that just sucks. Yeah. Yeah. It happens though. So. It is what it is. He does have him at a kill percent at least, and he has him in a perfect position to get the stock. But the air dodge. That, that air was so good. good. That was good. Yeah, barely kill or barely didn't hit either. Yeah. He he got he he's living by the skin of his teeth. Let's see how far he can take this, and he's taking it. He's yeah, taking it the distance so far. Already. Good up tilt. I love this up tilt mix, mix ups that uh, Gidra is doing. Yeah, he's really good with it. Mm -hmm. Down air or down smash? Interesting. Ooh, the axe kick as a really big mix up. I love that, especially how slow it is. It can be an amazing mix up option. Yeah. Really, but well, really early with that um, up tilt overall. I smash three times. That's yeah. Do it. Yeah, do it again. Not? Why not? <laughs> Let me see a fourth. Let me see a fourth. Build. There you go. There's the first stop. <laughs> this is a mountain to climb just because of how Ghidra is playing. Yeah. But Aether can definitely bring this back. I've seen him bring bring things back from worse. Yeah. But getting hit by the, he needs to get off the sledge first. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ghidra's in a really good position. Yeah, Ghidra. Ghidra's in a phenomenal position right now. Ghidra doesn't seem that worried about all the options that are being thrown out by Aether. Like, the Buzzsaw isn't really doing much. Leaf Shield hasn't come out at all. Um, and he hasn't had a really good time just, like, using melons to stop the grenades. Which is something that we praised Aether earlier. But he, he's having a hard time doing it. Because look at his position that um, Snake is playing at right now. He's not allowing these lemons to come out at all. He's boxing them out or he's putting a grenade so he can't do any option. Run up and <laughs> double spot dodge. All right, getting kind of quirky with it. Probably the second one was panic. Oh, <laughs> good reaction. Yeah. Condition. He knew that he's been hitting that shield, so he just double jumped, empty hopped, and then hit and then punish the the reaction off of it. That was so good. But is this stock? Yeah, I could definitely see. Uh. That that was that was a really weird situation. I don't know what's going on. Honestly, yeah. again another random up tilt. Bomb like the <gasps> oh, there it is! Just like last game, Aether was at this exact situation, and he needs to get him off stage. He know he should know that his win condition Ooh. is getting him off stage. That was a really good uh, conversion right there. Mm -hmm. Got him all the way up to 44. Mm -hmm. But he can't be rolling in like that anymore. Yeah. He's been called out quite often on the roll ins and roll out. I would love to see him maybe just just normal tech. Ooh, we're getting a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's spinning on him. He's spinning on him. The Beyblade. <laughs> the Beyblade. He's laying rip. Good oh. forward smash. He needs to go off stage here. He yeah. has no jump. He has no jump. No way. He brought it back. <laughs> no way. How? How? That's the set too. Like. That's the set. He stole wow. two games by the skin of his teeth. How? <laughs> we got some plot armor up in here.